So today I'm going to tell you about the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are the rules that God gave us to live by. Because God loves us, He doesn't want us to be confused. He doesn't want chaos and everybody being crazy. So He made rules for us to, to tell us how to behave, how to act, how we know we are being honored. And so there's ten of them. Can you show me ten fingers? That's right. So we're going to do some hand motions to go with it to help us remember the Ten Commandments, the Ten Rules God made for us, okay? First rule, show me one finger. First commandment is, no other gods, just Him. No other gods, just Him. Okay? The second commandment, how many fingers are we going to use? That's right, two. Second means two. And so this one says, no idols, worship only God. And idols are something that love more than God. So God says, love me the most and only worship me. So we're going to pretend this is God, you know, way up here, and this is us, and we're going to say, no idols, worship only God. So this is us, we're, and we're worshiping God, we're bowing down because we love him and we're praising him. So no idols, worship only God. Okay, so the next is the third commandment. And for the third commandment, we're going to use three fingers. One, two, three. And so the third commandment tells us, respect God's name. Do not use God's name in a bad way. Respect God's name. So we're going to use three fingers. We're going to just cover our mouth just to remember that we need to think about how we speak about God. So respect God's name. Okay. After the third commandment comes the fourth commandment. How many fingers are we going to use? Four. The fourth commandment says... Keep the Sabbath day holy. And that means to, to rest on the day that God rested, which is the seventh day. Remember when he created the world? And that's, um, you know, basically just, we're going to make a pillow, we're going to rest. You know, keep the Sabbath day holy, rest. And so what that means is set aside time to, to rest and to talk to God and to thank him. Okay? So keep the Sabbath day holy, rest, and thank God. Okay, and then fifth. Now, fifth says, honor your mother and father, or obey, listen. So this is a sign from father, this is a sign from mother. I'm going to say, obey your father and your mother, or listen to your father and your mother. Okay, now the sixth one, we're using six fingers, and this one says, don't hurt others, don't act out of anger. So we're going to pretend to, we're just going to pretend to, um, to just use this like as a stick or something to kind of help ourselves to be hurtful to the body, okay? So do not hurt others, do not act out of anger, okay? The next is the seventh, so seven fingers for the seventh commandment. And uh, the seventh commandment says, keep your promises to God and keep your promises to others. So this is a family, these are the keiki, and these are the parents. And these parents are married, and when parents are married, they are making a promise to each other to stay together. And they're promising to God. They're saying, we're going to stay together. So that's how we're going to remember. Keep your promises to each other and to God. Okay? Keep your promises to each other and to God. Next is the Eighth Commandment, Eight Fingers. And that says, do not steal. So with these five fingers on this hand, you're going to pretend to steal away the three. Okay? Ready? Do not steal. Do not steal. The ninth commandment, we're using nine fingers, and it says, always tell the truth. Do not lie. So we're going to cover our mouth because just like the other commandment where we have to think about what we say, we want to make sure we're not telling lies and only telling the truth. So always tell the truth and do not lie. And our last commandment, the tenth one, says, do, do not want what others have. So, um, do not covet others' things. It's, it's saying, don't be jealous of what somebody else might have. Be happy for others, okay? Don't want what others have. Don't be jealous, jealous or envious of what they have. So, we say, do not covet. <clears throat> and so, we're going to pretend to grab all these things. Pretend we want what everybody else wants, okay? To remind us, we don't do that. Okay, ready? Do not covet, do not covet, do not covet, do not covet. That's a fun one, huh? 
So there's the Ten Commandments. I'm going to send a list of the commandments um, on this activity too. And if you guys want to send a video of you and your KP or your Ohana participating in the hand motions, send it to us. We would love to see it. Okay, until next time. Bye, guys.